skin from bullfrogs is making the leap from labs to clinics. NTU scientists have developed a way to develop clinical grade collagen made from the discarded skin of these bullfrogs. Now, according to them, this will be able to treat chronic skin wounds like diabetic foot ulcers and also help skin heal better. The collagen acts as a scaffold for white blood cells and healing agents to coagulate, forming a protective layer for the healing to begin. It also encourages faster healing by keeping wounds moist. Well, for more, we're joined by Associate Professor Dalton Tay. He's from the School of Material Science and Engineering at NTU, and also by Carl Baptista. He's founder and CTO of medtech firm Cuprina Holdings, which collaborated on this research. Good evening, gentlemen. It is good to see you today. Professor Tay, let me begin with you. Using biological materials to treat wounds, this isn't uh, something new. We have used fish skin uh, to treat burn wounds as an example. How did you and your team uh, land on using bullfrog skin? Well, um, as biomaterial scientists, we are inspired by the scarless and skin regeneration properties of amphibians. And from the supply standpoint, there are actually quite a few frog farms from which we can actually readily collect the skin discards from. And this is because uh, frog meat is commonly eaten in uh, you know Southeast Asian region, as well as country in France, China, USA, and beyond. But surprisingly, the side stream generated from the frog meat sector, which currently stands about 50%, is severely underutilized. So this presents to us a unique source of biomaterials from which we can tap on. And I should also add, different from the direct application of fish skin onto the wound site, our process allows us to extract pure collagen from the skin of bullfrog and then productize them into different formats for wound healing application. So this will translate to better product consistency, reproducibility, and most importantly, we can maintain the sterility of the wound dressing products. So, Professor Tay, there is a sustainable aspect to this as well, uh, I hear you say. But how does bullfrog skin actually differ from other types of a clinical grade collagen that is currently available on the market? Currently, majority of the clinical grade collagen is derived from shavings and offcuts from the meat industry. Uh, however, with the global ambition to reduce greenhouse gas emission, many has turned to the seafood and aquaculture industry due to its smaller carbon dioxide footprint. So in this connection, collagen harvested from farmed frogs can therefore be considered to be a more sustainable option. And to the best of our knowledge, there is no precedent on the use of bullfrog collagen for skin wound healing applications. While experimental findings are extremely encouraging, we show that the bullfrog collagen wound patch possesses excellent biocompatibility and encourage wound closure. And we are extremely excited to partner Cuprina to fast track the commercialization efforts. So the next time you're enjoying your frog leg porridge, uh, you'll be delighted to know that nothing goes to waste because part of the frog will be eventually be upcycled into earth-friendly and value-added wound healing products. Well, speaking of Cuprina, Carl, let's bring you into the conversation here. Uh, the issue of chronic wounds, it does affect one in 20 patients uh, here in Singapore. That's partly, of course, due to the, to the high incidence of diabetes type 1, type 2, uh, paresthesia, nerve damage uh, to our extremities. So it is a concern. How will Cuprina be scaling up production of this bullfrog skin collagen patch to, to actually meet the demand that there may be and, and how soon can we expect this product to actually hit the market? Well, well we've set up a, a satellite lab at the Life Sciences Incubator, the German Center, uh, to facilitate this technology transfer from NTU um, to us so that we can begin some of the small batch manufacturing for, for regulatory needs, clinical trials and things like that. Um, and then after that, we'll build a full CGMP facility um, uh, to meet uh, the local demand. Uh, we will probably be doing clinical trials uh, at the end of 2013 uh, and have the product available to patients very, very soon after. Um, there is a high demand uh, for this, not just in the medical industry, but also within the cosmetic and health and beauty industry. So as we understand it, there are several parts to the whole uh, healing of wounds. I mean, the process of it, the first part is to clean that wound. And, and one way to do that is to use a so-called maggot therapy. Now, adding on fr frog skin collagen patches to the mix, 
uh, to complement your maggot therapy. Are patients receptive, though, to using such technology? I mean, what are the challenges perhaps uh, might you encounter? Well, y yes, good question. Um, well, with maggots, yes, there is a yuck factor associated with the product. Uh, generally, as long as clinicians who use them are confident, um, uh, they transfer this uh, to their patients uh, and their patients will benefit uh, from the treatment. Those who have undergone megatherapy tend to be very receptive uh, and report minimal pain or discomfort um, when using our Medifly maggots. We don't expect the same challenges to the amphibian collagen because it really doesn't look like a frog. Um, and once the product is made, it is shaped and cut looks very much like a like a bandage or a, or a piece of dressing uh, and then uh, it's placed directly onto the wound and it biodegrades in the wound so they don't they don't necessarily uh, see anything so i think uh, I, I think if we can get the um, the maggots approved for use in singapore uh, getting this uh, fish collagen approved uh, shouldn't be an issue so very much of a uh, biomedical research comes from nature uh, in any case, gentlemen, thank you very much uh, for sharing uh, this perspective with us. Uh, that was Associate Professor Dalton Tay from NTU and Carl Baptista there from medtech firm Cuprina Holdings.